Welcome to the HETV Game of the Week. I'm John Anderson. Today we have a game between two 6-0 teams. It's the Barrington homecoming here. And uh, Barrington at 6-0 is hosting Hoffman Estates at 6-0. And this very well could be the championship game of the conference this year. We're in week seven. It's a mild day, but it's blustery and windy out here. And uh, we're looking forward to quite a a classic game between these two unbeaten teams. Barrington is coached by Joe Sanchez who has been here at Barrington for over a decade. He's done very well. He's had a, a, almost all his teams make the playoffs and he, last year he uh, went into the playoffs and he, he wound up losing to the eventual state champion Maine South in a very competitive game. Uh, Barrington is averaging uh, the highest in the conference at 37 and a half points uh, a game they're allowing 19.8 uh, Hoffman Estates is coached by Tim Heisey he's a first-year coach there although he's been on the staff at Hoffman for uh, as I understand it about 14 years in various capacities so he certainly has been around quite a while and uh, Hoffman Estates is averaging a, a very high lo level 32 Point seven points a game. And the key to them, though, this year is their defense is also really outstanding. They're allowing only 10.2 per game, and that includes a couple of pick six sixes that uh, occurred just last week uh, against the offense and uh, added to the scoring of opponents. Uh, so we have the best offense in the mid suburban West in Barrington going up against the best defense. And Barrington is, a, is basically an 8A team. They're going to be an 8A team for sure. And uh, Hoffman Estates will be going into the playoffs in Class 7A. So it's got a 7A versus 8A uh, aspect. It's got the best offense versus the best defense. Last week, Barrington, both of these teams came off tough games last week. The conference is very deep this year. There's a lot of good teams. Barrington last week beat Palatine by 26 to 24, and that was the first time in five years that they had beaten Palatine. Uh, uh, Ray Nairo, the quarterback for Barrington, had another, another big night, 150 yards rushing and 145 yards passing. Uh, he has accounted for over 80% of the total yardage of Barrington this year, running and passing. He's their leading rusher by far, and of course he's their leading passer as a quarterback. Uh, last week, Hoffman also had a very close game. They won 28 to 24 over Schomburg, and they got off to a terrible start. This was a really a character building game for Hoffman. They found themselves down zero to 17. That was basically the result of two pick sixes that occurred within about uh, 65 seconds of each other early in the game. So right around the end of the first quarter, beginning of the second quarter, they were down zero to 17. Two pick sixes, both for 53 yards, and that put them in a deep hole, but they dug themselves out. The, the offense redeemed itself with 394 yards of total offense, and they wound up winning 20, 28 to, to 24. They got some good running from uh, uh, Jalen Johnson. He's, a, he's a, a, a very strong up the middle runner and Mike Eppenbaugh, who has uh, very good speed, he ran around the ends a lot and, and so they, they really put together quite an offense and made up that deficit and wound up uh, winning that ball game. Uh, as to some Daily Herald uh, leaders uh, on these teams, uh, the Daily Herald compiles statistics for the greater Northwest area, including our conference, but several others as well. And in those statistics, Ray, Ray uh, Nairo is the leading rusher with 933 yards running, even though he's a quarterback rather than a running back. And uh, that's, he's averaging 10.3 yards per carry. So we'll, we'll see how he does against this le league leading uh, defense today. Uh, the uh, <coughs> running for uh, Hoffman, has a good running back in Jalen Johnson, who's uh, compiled 537 yards and he's averaging 6.2. In passing, Austin Colson of uh, Hoffman Estates 
is the leader for the whole greater area. He's passed for 1,374 yards, and uh, uh, Nairo is not all that far behind. He's passed for nine. Uh, uh, make that uh, Colson has passed for 1,374 yards, and Nairo is behind him with 948 yards. The top receiver in the whole greater area is Jalen Alexander. In terms of number of receptions, he's got 40, and he's, he's accumulated 631 yards. Javon Blissett, also with Hoffman, is, is the uh, uh, second, he's, he's uh, the leader in yardage receptions with 774. So Hoffman has two really outstanding receivers, and that'll be a challenge for the Barrington defense today. Uh, and Barrington has a couple of receivers that are uh, doing well this year, not putting up the numbers of, of the Hoffman, but Johnny Cage and uh, Jake Parsons. Uh, there's a key player for Barrington, Alex Andrea. He's been a defensive back and a punt returner, and he's got tremendous speed. He's done quite a job on uh, defending other key receivers, so he'll be assigned to one of the two premier receivers that Hoffman has. So to, tonight we have uh, Barrington and Hoffman Estates with uh, both of them are high scoring teams. Hoffman has clearly the defense that has done better. I should say that Barrington has probably played a slightly tougher schedule. Uh, they, they play against bigger teams in the crossovers with the central suburban and uh, they've played against teams with more wins than Hoffman. Nevertheless, I think that these teams are pretty evenly matched. I think they'll both score a little less than they've been scoring so far this season. I, I see both teams coming in somewhere right around 20 points or so. I, I see a very, very tight game that's really, really a little too close to call. Welcome to uh, Barrington High School football stadium here where we have uh, the homecoming game uh, of Barrington. Uh, with Hoffman Estates coming in here with a 6-0 record. Usually you try to get somebody that's a little easier than that for homecoming, but uh, the scheduler was not quite uh, aware of how far, far along this Hoffman program is apparently, and uh, here they are at 6-0, and and uh, they're here to try to spoil the homecoming for, for Barrington. They had a terrific season so far. They've had uh, a close game last week, but they've uh, their defense has put them in uh, a, a very uh, strong position in most of their games. Here comes Barrington out on the field. They're 6-0. This game has conference championship implications for sure. Here comes the Barrington squad. It's a big squad, and uh, they've had a terrific offense. They lead the league in offense with over 37 points a game, and Hoffman leads the league in defense. So it's quite a clash here today of a powerful offense, a tremendous offense led, led by Ray uh, Nairo uh, for Barrington. He's uh, piled up a tremendous yardage, both running and passing. He's actually the leading rusher uh, in the conference and in the whole north uh, west suburban Herald area where they keep statistics. And on the other side, uh, we have uh, Hoffman uh, leading, leading the conference in defense, but they've also got quite an offense, uh, quite a passing attack, and so they're, they're gonna move the football, and uh, uh, they have two premier receivers in uh, Jalen Alexander and, uh, and uh, Javon Blissett, both of them right up near the top of the Herald statistics all the way around. Uh, they, they're high in yardage and receptions, and uh, uh, they will be a, a, very, a big challenge for the Barrington defense here today. Yeah, it's, and as you said, I mean, the, the Hoffman State's defense, that Barrington offense, when those two are on the field, that's really gonna be the focal point. Uh, you know, Hoffman giving up just, just over 10 points a game. Surprisingly, 14 of those points came last week. Uh, by a defensive score uh, from Schaumburg. So really, if you factor that out, they're, they're really only giving up about six points a game. So stifling defense, uh, Barrington's high-powered offense. It's gonna be really exciting out here today. Both teams, both teams have locked up uh, playoff appearance, uh, playoffs for this year. 
uh, for Hoffman, fastest uh, to lock up a postseason berth. So hats off to them, back-to-back -back years for them. Uh, I believe it's only the eighth time in school history they've done that. And it's going to be a great game. Barrington getting ready to kick off from the south end of the field to the north. They have the wind to their backs, and it's a significant wind today. A little bit blustery. It is not as cold as it looks. It's a, it's a warm wind out of the south. There's the kick. There's the kick. Hoffman takes it at their own goal line. Takes it out. Going to have a seam. He'll get to about the 26-yard line, and that's where they'll start. And here we'll see uh, quarterback Colson come out. He's got two big-time receivers. He, he has a couple of nice running backs. Help him get, uh, lead a pretty balanced offense here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he can do against uh, this high-powered uh, Barrington defense. Biggest challenge of the year for Hoffman. We saw Eppenbaugh for Hoffman last week do very well. Nick uh, Eppenbaugh, he's a, I believe he's just a sophomore, and he's very quick to the outside. So here comes Hoffman. Typically, typically run out of a shotgun. Colson, then Colson's back. Receiver in motion here. Going to run it up the middle. Yeah, I'll get about five. About seven yards there to start off the, the game. So they'll, they'll start, take it to the 34 yard line, second and two. That's Johnson who can pile drive up the middle like that. He got about eight yards right there and he sets up, uh, he really is a nice compliment to the passing attack. They've got to respect that run. Here he, here he goes again. again. This, this one got stuffed by that Barrington defense. So may have had a loss on the play. Uh, it looks like they gave him about a yard. So they'll, they'll have it out to the 35. We'll be third and one to start out here. Big play early on. Third and one, I'm guessing that we'll see Johnson again. He has performed quite well in recent games. We saw him against Hersey and last week against Schomburg. Going to test this uh, defensive line of Barrington here more than likely. Takes it, yep. run again. He'll have the first down, take it out to the 40. Good run there. They're, they're, they're definitely going right up the middle, testing that Barrington defense with pretty good results so far. First down. They'll have it at the uh, their own 41-yard line. So one for one on their first conversion attempt. Let's see if they try to throw the ball or if they'll keep uh, keep it here with the run. Go back to the run. This time right up the middle again. So a lot of motion. They get it to the bar to their own 45-yard line. Should have a second and five here. Second and six maybe. Impressive running from Hoffman right at the outset of the game here. Yeah, trying to trying to establish the run from uh, from the get-go. With their passing attack to go with it, that. Uh, they could have something going. There's a there's a fake pass to the side. Oh. Dropped. Incomplete pass. Dropped, uh. So we'll have, we'll have third down and six at their own 45-yard line. Probably going to try to throw here. They have a couple of star receivers, guys that can make catches. Uh, done incredibly well this year. But we'll see. They, they've, been, they've been getting good groundwork as well, so we should see. Alexander is number two, and he's uh, out to the far left right now. He's a Purdue recruit. Line up four wide. Colson calling motion. Fakes it. Out to the motion man and stopped by Barrington. So they got about one or two yards on the play. Throws, throws under the defense, but Barrington closed very quickly, and uh, that brings up fourth down. and. They're at about the uh, 40, 47 or so, and we have our first uh, punt of the afternoon. It'll be into a blustery wind that's coming out of the south. It's a, a mild, Nobody back, so they're balmy gonna sort run. of wind. Nobody back there. Look, at, rolls all the way down to uh, the eight yard line. So Barrington will put it in play from the eight and have 92 yards to go to to score a touchdown. Long way to go. 
Good, def good defensive hold there by Barrington after uh, the early first down. Now this is really going to be what we've been waiting for. Uh, how can uh, how can star quarterback from Barrington, uh, Ray Nairo, can he get the ground game going? Can he get the offense going against this Hoffman defense? It really hasn't let up hardly anything all year. <clears throat> the one factor here might be that the Barrington offensive line may be. There's a draw. He's going to go. Oh, there, there we go. Big opening down. Big to opening. The, down to the Barrington 38-yard line. I was going to say the rebuilt Barrington office, offensive line may be better than most of what Hoffman has been seeing all year. Barrington has a tradition of strong offensive lines, and they only had Warman back this year, but the other starters have come along rapidly. And Swings it to the outside and it's stopped in the backfield by Hoffman for a five-yard loss. Now, now from a nice big run to start the play, we're down to second and 15 for Barrington. Busted play there. That was Johnny Gage, who's listed as a wide receiver, coming around with the ball that time. You mentioned the Barrington offensive line. Unfortunately, they had a big injury last week early on against Palatine. Um, lost Tyler Wegehoff. I probably mispronounced that, but you know, that's a big loss for Barrington. Hero back to throw. He's got a man. Oh. Knocked oh. down there by number seven for Hoffman. Good. Well defended play. Anil Joe Jones was the one uh, going way up in the air and knocking that ball aside and breaking up that yeah. pass, which was well thrown by Nairo. Any, anytime we're going to throw today with the wind, it's going to be a factor, right? You just you don't know. It's going to be tougher to, to throw with these conditions. Albeit it's at our it's at uh, Barrington's back right now, but something to consider uh, as the game goes on here. So Nairo's got the ball. We have five wide. Back to pass. Throws it over the middle, wide open. Wide open. And he's going to go. That'll be a touchdown. Alex, yep. Alec Andrea, the returning starter. The big time receiver for Barrington, and that's a big score to start the, the offense for Barrington. That's got out there in the open, and uh, no, no one really picked him up on that. And he's got blazing speed and ran into the end zone with nobody near him. Yeah, wide, wide open receiver was able to, to find the seam up the middle and take it to the house. So Barrington starts off, that they passed the first test on offense versus a stingy Hoffman defense. Now Barrington had, Barrington's kicker was injured two weeks ago. So as of last week, they've been taking two point conversions uh, on every score. Well, apparently it seems they're gonna be doing the same this week. Andrea again motions, Nairo's gonna take it and he's gonna score for two. Well, Barrington suddenly is up 8-0. It's an offense. At, uh, eight minutes and ten seconds left in the first quarter. Yeah, it's an offense that scores a lot of points. Um, this, you know, Hoffman's going to give them the biggest test of the year, but they're, they're scoring over 35 a game. Uh, they can't. They have to be pleased with that first drive. That went very well, and you saw the effectiveness of the offensive line there at Barrington, and uh, and Nairo with uh, both passing and running. He ran that two points in very quickly and uh, his passes were on the mark and it's a very impressive quick strike here by Barrington to to grab an early lead here eight to eight to zero or so second kickoff of the game here Barrington with the wind at their back again kicking right to left Will Noon back to receive? And he'll get the ball again. We'll see what, oh, he will let it go into the end zone, touchback. So Hoffman came out last time, started really strong, a lot of established in the running game, got a first down. Offense kind of stalled out a little bit, but you know, hopefully they can build off some of that momentum that they had going to start the game. See if they try to establish the run again. A lot of weapons to choose from here, so. Um, Coach Heisey will definitely have his options. I think on that first drive, we didn't see a pass to either of the premier receivers. Uh, I think they were they were trying to establish other things, especially the run. And uh, so we'll likely see the first pass to one of the two 
outstanding receivers that they have. They're going to go back to the ground. A slow developing uh, outside run there down to the 29 or 30. So that's close to a first down for Hoffman. Johnson showing that he's got some speed to the outside as well as his power running ability up the middle and picks up a, a nice gain on that eight, about eight yards. Yeah, he's a big tough runner tough to take down. Uh, maybe the plan would be to try to wear out the bearings defense with him. Again wind a factor so that may that may impact decisions with throwing the ball especially against them. They're going to try Colson throw it up and nobody there. It's over everybody. Blissett was in the general area but uh, probably 10 yards short of that pass at least. Yep. Andre is so Barrington had uh, on about three defenders deep on that one. Yeah, Andrea was closest. He's the, he's playing both ways. He's a returning starter for Barrington. Um, he's been he's been their star. Tremendous speed, and I, I think you said he did really well against uh, Warren earlier this year. Yeah, Warren has a big receiver who's committed to or planning to go to Notre Dame. So he was able to shut him down. So we'll go back to the run on third and two. It's going to be close. Looks like he's about a yard short, maybe a little less. Fourth down here. Looks like they're bringing on the punt team for Hoffman. So you can't you can't fault him on second and short, taking a shot. Fortunately, when that comes up short, you got to nail it on third down. Just came up a little close on the run, and we're back punting. Barrington will have Andrea back to return. He's right around the 40 yard, <coughs> excuse me, the 40 yard line of Barrington. So Kick the off. punt is I caught up in the air there and it's a short punt, but it gets a good bounce from a Hoffman standpoint and it comes to rest at about the, looks like about the 42 or so of, of yeah. Barrington. All's well that ended well with that punt. That's right where he was stationed. Might as well have been a fair catch, so. Got caught up in the breeze a little bit there, and but still, the roll made compensated for that. So 6:35 left in the first quarter. Barrington leading 8-0. They're going to get the ball for the second time here. Nairo in the shotgun, four wide, receiver back. Man in motion. They're going to try running up the middle here. Good pickup, about five yards. We'll have second and five at their own 46 yard line. Again, that Barrington line asserting itself and uh, creating some holes. I will take the snap. He's gonna run. Big run. He's almost, almost was able to break that. Pick up about eight yards, it seems. They're going to have the ball it's at. First down. Yeah, first down for Barrington. They're going to have it at the Hoffman 44. You'll see that play a lot from Nairo. He'll, he'll take it off the shotgun and he'll make something happen, whether it's a design run or he's improvising. But he is the, I think he's putting up about 315 yards a game, total yards on his own. Uh, coming into last week, I know he accounted for over 80% of all the yardage for Barrington. So uh, really, the offense revolves around him and he's getting going already. Hand off for a loss. Good job penetrating by Hoffman there, getting into the backfield. So we're going to have third down and. That was Michael Curran trying to run with the ball there. He's been one of, one of the two leading ball carriers uh, besides Nairo, of course, or behind him. Exactly. So now we have second and 14 at the Hoffman 48. Same formation we've seen, about four wide. Nairo's going to drop back to look. He's got pressure, but he gets it away. And this one's going to go. It's Curran, and he's got big yardage off of that, just throwing it under the defense. Able to get a first. Finding Curran open, and Curran is six feet, 175 pounds, and gathered that in, and we've got a first down. So Nairo with, Nairo with nice patience, letting that play come to him, let it develop, found the open receiver, was able to get a good, uh, good rush after the catch. So they're back, first down. Hands it off to the running back. It's Curran. With the middle, Curran. 
This high-powered offense of Barrington in the early going here really asserting itself, and uh, the line is doing a superb job so far because uh, Hoffman has been able to uh, really overpower a lot of offensive lines this year. So there goes Nairo goes again. Nairo. Makes a couple of cuts. Goodbye. He's, he's got it They're in the end zone. That's what Ray Nairo does. He's able to cut loose up the middle, turned it up, made a couple of people miss, and there he goes. So Barrington oh. couldn't have asked for a better start here. There's 428 left in the first. They're up 14 nothing with uh, presumably another two-point conversion attempt on the way here. Very, very impressive, and the, the line play by Barrington has been a little overwhelming, and the execution by the backs and receivers has been also uh, impressive. So this whole Barrington offense. Uh, it's a big line. St starting uh, out uh, terrifically here. Here they go for looks two like, points now. Looks like Barrington may have broke the huddle with too many players. So they'll line and back up five yards and further back. It's a little more of a challenge to score with one play from this distance. Uh, you know, presumably the kicker is still Probably. battling an injury. Otherwise, he'd be out here in this situation. But, but Barrington will try to make the best of it. Looks like Joe Sanchez and his coordinator there are sending in another play, given the change in circumstance here, a little farther to go. Iroh and Andrea back in the backfield. Andrea was able to throw for one. So you may see something there. Iroh drops back, looks, it's going to throw a fade to the corner of the end. Fade and just out back. Well covered there by, uh, looks like a number two, I think, or no. Believe, yeah, I believe it was covered by two, Alexander out on yeah, the side. Alexander there. playing defensive back or outside linebacker there, did quite a job of covering on that and forced Nairo to throw very deep, which turned out to be out of bounds. So 14 nothing with uh, 428 still remaining in the first quarter here. Barrington to kick off again. Well, th this circumstance, uh, the scoreboard situation here for Hoffman means that they're probably going to have to really open it up here. To They've got lots of time. They don't have to push the panic button yet, but uh, I think we'll see there are two outstanding receivers involved. Here, here we go on the return. It's a lot of 13. That's came, but they'll get him at the 21 yard line. No, he uh, takes that ball to about about the 21, I think. And you wonder how much the wind's impacting the passing game. I mean, you, you've seen they're committed to the run. They've had some success with it um, uh, at times. But you know, it may be a matter of trying to shorten things up, try to try to battle the wind I, until they can flip the field. We may I, not see it. My guess is that that was probably more game plan than than wind. And they were trying to establish that part of their game, which is a good part of their game. But. Uh, now they, they're set up here. I think they're looking to pass. They are passing. They do keep it short. Makes a man miss. They'll take it almost to about eight yards. So we'll have second and two at the, at the Hoffman 30. About four minutes left in the first quarter here. So that's a good job trying to establish a little bit of momentum here. See if they take it to the run with a shorter distance to, to cover here. Fakes it, quarterback's gonna, Colson's gonna run. Oh, there's a flag down. Flag in the vicinity of holding. We'll see what the call is. Oh. Colson does very little running. Certainly, everybody was probably expecting Johnson to get the ball. I certainly was, and uh, he had some room, but uh, there's a flag down. Flag down, it will be a holding. So they'll trot it back 10 yards. And there goes the uh, the big gain on first down. So now they got second and 12. We'll line it up again here. 
three wide. Running back goes into motion. Colson's gonna try running it again. No luck. Shut, shut down by that Barrington defense in the backfield and that for a loss. So now a lot of distance to try to cover to convert on third. It's not an ideal situation for Hoffman. Let's see if they try throwing the ball. They have two great receivers who can make plays. Um, certainly available for them. Probably going to Alexander or Blissett here. Drops back, throws, goes to Alexander. Uh. Dropped In, on that. Incomplete. Play. So it'll be fourth down, and Hoffman's going to be punting again and again into that wind. Throwing a little bit low there. Incomplete, and uh, Barrington's high powered offense will get the football again. Return man at uh, about midfield. Other situation of potential, very good field position for Barrington. Andrea back. It's now standing at about the hop in 49. Low kick, good kick in these conditions. Stride fielded. Muffed the That's return, but it went out of bounds, so no damage, and Barrington will have the ball at the Hoffman 44-yard line. So really great start for Barrington. Hoffman needs to try to find itself on defense here. Um, Nairo with the big run, another play with a big opening down the seam, up the middle for big pass for touchdown. And Barrington probably looking to try to Keep the foot on the gas here. Nairo will take it, hand it off up the middle, and he'll cut it outside. Good run for about seven yards. Some of the offensive linemen for for Barrington, Alec uh, Meister, Joff Frank, Sam Butera, George Gavina, and Brad Warman. And uh, performing impressively thus far. Flag, flag flies. Let's see what the call is here. Looks like it may have been offsides. Will be offsides on the defense, so that'll give Barrington the first down. Now, now they have the ball at the Hoffman 34. About two minutes, 42 minutes, or two, two minutes, 42 seconds remaining. Barrington up 14, nothing. Nairo and Kern in the backfield here. Nairo will take it, drop back. He's got pressure, steps up. Pressure again, he finds the man. Wow, what a pass, what a touchdown. Pass. Touchdown, Barrington, wow. That's Scrambled around and uh, receiver got loose in the end zone. What a, what Suddenly a it's 20 to nothing. 20 nothing. It's Unbelievable start for Barrington. Just, More than they could have ever imagined. Just a spectacular start here against uh, the leading defense in the mid suburban West. We're 20 nothing right now. They'll go for two again. That time, uh, Nairo saw the receiver wide open or, or open in the corner of the end zone. He, he could have run the ball and gotten 10, 15 yards perhaps, but uh, threw it there and it's a touchdown just like that. Clock was ticking. Hoffman was getting pressure there. But Nairo stepped up, made an unbelievable throw, and even, even better catch in the back of the end zone there. So Barrington's going to take a timeout. Probably won't change the play here. Really surprising head uh, start here, you know. Barrington has had the wind to their back. Intense wind, it's a blustery sort of wind. Makes a difference, but I, I think the main difference has been the play of the Barrington offense overall. Their offensive line doing exceptionally well and Nairo playing his typical game where he's running and passing and putting on quite a show. So they'll get set back up, Barrington going for two. With an offense like that, uh, going for two makes a lot of sense. 
the odds are with him. So here's Nairo out of the shotgun. He's going to look to Andrea, who's going to take it. Fumbles. Oh. I, I know that's incomplete. Lost control so of the football, so yeah, that may be incomplete or whatever, but it's not going to be two points. One for three on so the conversions for Barrington. 20 to, no, 20 to nothing here, and we still have two, two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Already 20 points on the board there. Barrington is only 17 points or so, 17, 18 points away from their season average, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. So this is a spectacular start for Barrington, especially against this Hoffman defense, which came in quite heralded and had uh, played so well all season long. And Gagne was the one who brought down that incredible touchdown catch in the back of the end zone. He's been the, one of the top receivers for Barrington this year. Really a uh, spectacular show there. So Barrington will be kicking once again for the fourth time this quarter. Wind at their back again. For Hoffman, Eppenbaugh up at, back along with Will Noon. So let's see if they can uh, get it out of the end zone, make a play here. <coughs> Noon will take it at the two. Makes a nice move to the outside. Nice. He's going to cut it down to the Hoffman 44. There is a flag. We'll see what that is. Well, we'll see where it winds up, but uh, Hoffman needs to really crank it up here, down 20 to nothing, and uh, it's only the first quarter, and uh, we really haven't seen thus far uh, many pass. I don't think we've seen a, I don't know if we've seen a pass, or maybe one to Blissett and one to Alexander, Alexander. So, so far today, so. So that holding call will bring them back to the, bear, to the Hoffman 19 which is where they've been starting pretty much every time with these drives. So Barrington's had good field position throughout, been able to, to manage this Hoffman offense. Let's see if they try to get the receivers more involved here. Colson's going to take it again. This is the third rush attempt for Colson, which you don't typically see. Right? Usually it's Nairo who's doing more of the running uh, coming into this game. But Colson, he's found something. He's found a few holes, been able to get some yardage. Um, and he'll, pick, he'll pick up five on that first down. So second and five at the Hoffman 24. Hoffman has been a, a little off script here, running the quarterback three times and not throwing to their prime, their leading receivers as much. But let's see what happens here. Colson Here's Colson it. looking. It's good and coverage out there. Very good coverage, incomplete pass. That was noon out there. He's their kick returner, and he couldn't hold on to that one. So third and five here, another third down for Hoffman. Barrington's secondary is playing rather tenacious today. They haven't, uh, Hoffman hasn't been able to get people wide open or even open much at all. That trips, trips wide, and you have Blissett short on the short side here. Probably looking to throw Colson in the backfield. Barrington's going to dial up a blitz. He's going to roll to the outside, get away from his scramble. Here's Blissett's Colson. there. They're going to get a jump ball, and that's picked off by Barrington. It's picked Out. off by Andrea there. Andrea's doing a little so, bit of everything today with the interception yeah. there for Barrington. And so that sets up Barrington with their high-powered offense that's already made it to the end zone three times. With first and ten at about the it looks like the 39 of Hoffman, with 135 still remaining in the first quarter. 135 in the quarter might be a little bit of pace here, knowing that they're going to be flipping sides and having the wind change direction. You can open up the offense a little bit more when you're not battling that wind. So, and with the shell shocking of a, a of an interception and everything, they might uh, go for the long bomb on first down right here. 
believe Barrington would be taking a timeout here, regrouping, getting the getting the right play call in. This game being played on a Saturday. Typically, these these two are playing on Fridays, but with homecoming at Barrington. It's here, great crowd. A lot of, I'm sure, a lot of alumni back. Enthusiastic. It's been a tradition with Barrington. I've been to a, a few of these games because. They're, they are on a Saturday afternoon, and uh, they're, they're usually the only game in the area to see, and uh, Barrington seems to do very well in these homecoming games. It's my general recollection over the years. So similar set for Barrington. Nairo will be taking the snap motion here. We'll hand it off. He may be looking Here's to throw Andy, back uh, to Nairo. Throwing to Nairo. Nairo. Nairo's got it. He's going racing down the sideline goodbye he's got a touchdown Barrington up 26 nothing no flags out there Nairo doing his best only here. 124 with with 124 remaining in the first quarter it's 20 26 to nothing and Barrington will line up and go for two here Nairo doing his best here crouch compression there with the throwback that, reception that, touchdown uh, to go with this balanced offense to it's been just been wreaking havoc this year. Yeah, that uh, that's a play and uh, certainly Nairo is a kind of quarterback to run it. You know, with his running ability and once he got that and he had a step on everyone it was gone. Nairo well, can't there. avoid the pressure there and he's taken down. So one for four. The good news is Barrington's had four attempts at two point conversions. The bad news is they've only converted on one of them. So it's 26 to nothing. 124 remaining. And if you're Hoffman, you just need to be, you just need to take things small at this point. You know, you just focus on the next first down, focus on this drive, trying to get points on the board. I, I know 26 nothing looks like a huge number at this point, but there, as mentioned, we still have three quarters to go. There's plenty of time. It's a team that's won all year long. Uh, they can score points. They, they have a good defense. So a lot of this just got to, got to regroup and see what they can do starting right here. I, I saw their first round playoff game against Bennett. Bennett was number two in the East Suburban Catholic last year, and Bennett raced to a 23 to nothing lead, and Hoffman rallied and tied it up in the middle of the fourth quarter. So comes out again, and he'll be taken down at the 25. So a lot, of, a lot of these players were there that night when Hoffman rallied from a 23-0 deficit against a good Bennett team. Tied it up at 23 all, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Bennett did launch a, a drive and scored near the end of the game, late in the fourth quarter, and held on and uh, defeated Hoffman. But Hoffman made a quite an impressive comeback to to uh, tie up the game in the fourth quarter after trailing 23 nothing. So today it's 26 to nothing. It's very early. They've got lots and lots of time. Plenty of time. So Colson's back. Four wide set here. Takes a snap. He's going to go to Blissett. Oh, well, picked off. Off uh, the spins fingers. off the fingers, and you know when it rains, it pours sometimes. And uh, right now, it's really uh, pouring down on Hoffman Estates. One thing after another happening here. At, yeah, just and, about. Uh, an unfortunate drop pass that was. Fell right into the hands of the Barrington uh, defender, and here we go again. Barrington with the ball on the, the Hoffman 42-yard line. An extremely dangerous quarterback out there, and Ray Nairo, who who can score very fast. So we'll take here we it. are. It's Drop a back. deep He's pass. Oh, almost caught. Uh, coverage was. Tenacious out there. That was number seven, I believe, for Hoffman. It's a good coverage from Hoffman. It was it was in place. It was a well thrown Anna ball. Anna Jones. A, yeah. Just a good challenge. So a, as you mentioned earlier, they may want to try to attack off these turnovers right away. Go go for deep strikes there. Uh, they've they've done that both times. One to some success, and here just didn't work out. So we'll see. Maybe we see more. Traditional uh, Barrington offense here, trying to run the ball. 
not go for the home run shot. Two in motion. Now it's going to hand it off up the middle. Take it to the Hoffman 39. So nice pickup, a few yards. We're now under a minute with the clock ticking away. We're down to about 50 seconds. And so uh, Barrington will not have the wind. I don't think it's an overwhelming wind, but it's a steady, blustery sort of wind to, uh, out of the south. Mild day today. We're in the 70s somewhere. I rode back. Here's Nairo. All He's day. got lots of time to pass. There's Nine's that again. offensive line of Barrington just doing a great job today. And uh, all the way. Gave Nairo plenty of time. Find his receiver, Gagne. We're down to 18 seconds here. I right? think they may well try a pass in the end zone right here. This is a score high school football fans will be around the state will be surprised to see it at this stage of the game in the first quarter. Absolutely, and they will take it to the second quarter. After one, 26 nothing Barrington. Shaped up as a battle between uh, the leading offense in the mid suburban west against the leading defense, and so far it's been almost all Barrington. Barrington has asserted itself. They've had one big play after another and uh, some well coached, clever plays. They had the quarterback catch a pass and go for a touchdown with a pass coming from from uh, one of the receivers and uh, from Andrea, I believe. And uh, so they've done some clever things. They've, and uh, as to just showing good, uh, solid execution and strength, their offensive line has really been uh, tough today. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a balanced Barrington offense. They've shown it both ways, whether through the air, uh, on the ground, they even had a quarterback throwback for the score to an Iroh. I'm sure that was a big thrill for the senior today. Um, so now that here, looking to tack on even more at the Hoffman 18 yard line, second and one. 14 motion. Nairo's going to take it. No. He's bottled up. So three yard That's, loss by Hoffman. That looked more like the Hoffman that I've been seeing this year. They've done so well. I, we did their game against Hersey and they held them to I believe it was 10 points. And Hersey has gone on to a great year. They're, they've been averaging up, up around the high 30s, low 40s most of their games and Hoffman held them to 10. Definitely the statement win for Hoffman this year over Hersey. I mean, current up the middle, really stops. So now we're take it to the Barrington 20. So now we have third down and 11. Nairo looking for the play. Comes back to the field here. See if he tries throwing the ball. We have single coverage on the near side. See if they can try to identify that as where they want to go. Fakes to the left. Flag thrown. Looks like holding, but Nairo escapes. He see, keeps the play alive. He's going to throw back, and he'd be just short of the first down. But it is a completion to the 10. And there is a flag down. Let's see. And it will be holding against Barrington. Holding against Barrington, which will wipe out that gain and put Barrington uh, back uh, with third and very long. So now, you, now you're back third and long. Again, the kicking unit's not going to be here. So we, we have two, they have two plays to pick up first down. A lot of distance, but hey, as we've seen earlier, this it's a quick strike offense. It can, Get a lot of yards on one play. It'll be interesting to see what happens. My guess, obviously, you'll probably see a pass, but does Nairo you know, tuck it and go for a, go for a big run himself if things start opening up? So you will see five wide. Nairo's going to be alone in the backfield there at the Barrington or at the Hoffman 35-yard line.
Looks like a new play might be com coming in. We'll see how his covered. pass. Nairo Johnson had good pressure, steps up. He is gonna run. He loves to run, gets it down to where they were before the penalty. So down at the 20, you figure Barrington's gonna go for this. They're not gonna be kicking. They have about 12 yards to go to get the first down. Nairo stays on the field and we'll wait to see what the call is. Nice pickup. I suspect Nairo will roll out one way or another and have the option of running or passing. And he's staying right in the pocket. Right. Oh, oh he's up, got, uh, that's Andrea for the touchdown. He's had quite a day. And uh, similar to the first score, first score of the day, right in the middle, Andrea was able to break loose and pretty wide open. Easy toss it's for Nairo, stayed in the pocket, wasn't even thinking of running there. Brings us to 32 to nothing. We're, we show 9.47 to go in the second quarter. Nairo's going to take Nairo, it. But he's not he's going struggling. very far. So. He'll be shot at the one. So we'll but get in one for five here on these one, conversions. That's the uh, only spot where this Barrington football team needs to do a little extra work, I guess. Uh, their offense, their defense uh, in general is uh, performing at a very high level, especially the offense, but also the defense is doing quite well at uh, stopping what Hoffman has uh, brought to this game so far. And we're uh, <clears throat> with 947 in the second quarter, the score is now 32 to zero in favor of the Barrington Broncos, who are putting on quite a show here today, offensively especially. Yeah, through, through, through six games with Hoffman, they've given up 61 points. And through 14 minutes at Barrington, they've, Barrington has covered about half of that. So definitely a surprising start for both teams. Let's see if Hoffman can regroup here. Barrington in a familiar role, kicking off again. He'll kick it, he'll take it at the 10. And bring it out to the 25. Similar field position with each of these kicks. Good coverage from Barrington. Well, Barrington's offense is playing up to its image or maybe a bit beyond, but the defense also. The defense uh, has had a, a good year, but not overwhelming. And uh, they're, here they are so far. Uh, Hoffman Estates really hasn't moved the ball much the entire game so far. So you probably, with the, with the wind at their back you should, and down 32, you should see them trying to focus on the pass. He'll throw it out to Blissett. He'll take it. Good. Good I can remember going back to that playoff game last year. Uh, Colson just revved it up and started throwing and connecting, 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 and it was touchdown, touchdown, Hoffman. And suddenly, uh, it really looked like they were going to win that game. But uh, Bennett then went to ball control and pounded it out and scored and and uh, then held on. But uh, they did make an impressive comeback, and we'll see if they do the same thing here. Receiver motion, toss right to their big back. Take it for about four or five yards to start the drive. So second and about five at the Barrington 40. Well, Hoffman certainly has the weapons to get back into this. Uh, we have, we've talked earlier about the wide receivers, and we, we've seen glimpses of hope with the running game. Just trying to establish some rhythm, get some first downs, and you'll see it there. Swill so Noon picks yes. up first down across Barrington Field, and it's a good start here on this drive for Hoffman. Noon has been an active player for Hoffman today. So he's had a workout on special teams, and then there catching the catching the ball over the field to pick up a nice first down. I believe it's their second first down for Hoffman today. 
So Hoffman trying to get back into a rhythm. Folsom taking the snap. Few inches from Barrington ter territory. We'll hand there it they off. Do. They nice. cross over into the Barrington side of the field. Nice run there by Johnson. Barrington going with four defensive backs. Yeah. Both, both ways haven't seen much pressure in the backfield yet. A couple times uh, Hoffman has, has tried to establish that, but Nairo has been able to step up and avoid it. We'll see if Barrington starts to bring some pressure as uh, Hoffman starts getting into their territory here. There'll be a timeout on the field. But here's Hoffman trying to uh, get their offense moving. They've, they've got a good offense. They're over 32 points a game average this year. Colson's going to run. He'll throw it out. He slipped. Lissett slipped on the, on the uh, turf here at Barrington. Barrington had two defenders, 7 and 11 there. Um, Andrea and uh, Vladimir back on pass defense, uh, providing good coverage there. So now we have a third and six. They're in Barrington territory. It's been a nice drive so far. Let's see if they can keep it going. Figure they should be throwing the ball. Jalen Alexander's near side. Looked like Barrington jumped off sides there. So they'll pick up five more yards, make things a little bit easier for them. Andrea, who's had an unbelievable game for Barrington so far, matched up with Jalen Alexander on the near side. Talked about his uh, week one matchup where he uh, you know, shut down Warren's big wide receiver, Micah Jones. Right by him there, yeah. There he goes. And he should pick up a first here. So nice drive. Continues here for Hoffman. They'll pick up the first down on the run. Nice job by Jalen Johnson there to kick it outside for a first. Easily the best drive for Hoffman this year. This is something they're going to try to keep building on as this game progresses. Yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> by far their best drive in this game. And uh, see if it can result in points. Looks like another offside. Yeah, offside again. So it must be some good cadence here from the quarterback to draw them off sides twice now on this uh, on this drive. Barrington may be antsy to get in the backfield, try to preserve the shutout here in the second half. Good pace from Hoffman. Colson back, ready to take the next play. Trips on the near side and uh, Blissett wide on the on the far side. Fakes the handoff. Colson running again. Takes it to the almost first down. It's going to be close. Picked up about five yards. Looks like it'll just be short. So second and under a yard here for Hoffman. Running the ball a lot, Colson, today. That's uh, usually is, I think he averages closer to three or so a game, and he's beyond that already. So, so Jalen Alexander, the star, one of the star, one of the star receivers here for Hoffman. He's near side. Colson Johnson trucking up the middle. Nice job to bring it to the 20, and that's easily gets the first down for Hoffman. So great drive here. They're deep into Barrington territory, almost in the red zone. Still a lot of time in this game. It's six, 642 uh, remaining in the second quarter. So Hoffman's offense starting to assert itself here. Yeah, and they're starting to show that balance that they like to have with the run and the pass. Colson again to pass. He's looking to Blissett. He's not seeing. He rolls out, runs again. And Brings it down. Picks up a nice gain. Nice gain. So Colson showing some of the speed. Not shy to run today. It's a good scramble when he didn't see anything open. He's going to get it near to the first down. So he picked up about eight, nine yards. We'll have second and one. Second and one. We'll probably see Johnson take this one. Although with such a, a big deficit, they may try a pass here just to... See if they can get this thing in the end zone real quick. 
That's Johnson. Tyson back Johnson. there, he takes the pitch and he's well, he's hit, but he squirms away and uh, he appears to have the first down. And Johnson with a couple, couple of nice cuts. He looked like he was going to be caught in the backfield, but made a couple of nice moves and was able to get close to the first. Looks like they're going to probably be a little short. Marking it about a couple of feet short. He started out fairly deep on that with a pitch that was behind the line of scrimmage away and almost still almost picked it up. Here's Johnson again and this time he'll pick it up. So first down the nice drive continues. For Hoffman here. More of a straight ahead play there to pick up the first down. Keep this drive going. And uh, they're now down banging on the door here. They're, they're down at uh, about the 12 yard line, it looks like. Yeah. Nice job by the offensive line from Hoffman, opening up some holes, keeping, keeping things alive. I know the score is not where they'd like to be, but they're still about here battling, holding up a strong defensive front for Barrington. Colson's going to drop back. He's going to find Alexander, who will get into the end zone. Oh, there's, for a, touchdown. there's there is a, flag. a flag. There is a flag on the play, but uh, we'll see what that is. I think that's on Barrington. So that score is going to hold up. Alexander, credit Alexander, was able to shed a shed a block, get open for a nice touchdown. And Hoffman, so Hoffman is on the board. So this is something they can definitely take in a halftime. Maybe they'll even get the ball back, have another chance this half. Um, something they can build on. Never want to go in scoreless into the second half. And it, this is something that they can uh, try to build some positive momentum around as they continue in this game here. So the kick is up. It is good. So 32 to 7. Barrington still leads, but Hoffman does get on the board with 519 left in the second. And that's a, a, a nice uh, touchdown drive there. A lot of balance. I would say probably uh, that resurgence that I witnessed in the playoffs last year was a little more pass oriented than this drive was, but uh, this was effective. It moved down the field rather rapidly and put seven points on the board, which they need from a scoring standpoint uh, in order to be in position to go anywhere. And psychologically, it's got to give Hoffman a lift that they can do it and, and uh, get it done against this Barrington team that has come out here on homecoming and uh, uh, impressed the alums that are here today with their, their fine play thus far. Yeah, more, re more recently for Hoffman, even last week, they came into halftime down 17 points to Schaumburg. We're able to battle back for a win. So. Yeah, that's another big. That's just a week old where they came from way behind and they won that game. Yep. And uh, just had a reversal of fortune there with two pick sixes that were really uh, a, quite a catastrophe and they overcame it. Here's Andrea gathers it in before it gets into the end zone. He's turned around and he brings it out to about the 24 yard line. Looked like he might have a little running room there for a while. So with 5'11 remaining in the half, it's Barrington 32, Hoffman seven, and Barrington has the ball again. I think the wind has died down just a little bit. It's still blustery, but it's a little more tempered, a little milder yeah. right now. Sun's trying to peek Sun out here is too. Getting a little sunnier, and it's a it's a a warm day for October. Nairo's going to take it, make a nice spin move, pick up about five yards. Yeah, if you trust if you trust meteorologists, about we got about an hour until rain might be coming through here, so we'll take the sun while we have it. That becomes a factor because if Hoffman has to pass a lot to catch up, if the rain could seal a win here for Burlington potentially, if it comes. Right now it's bright and sunny for the first time in the game. So Nairo will hand off close to the first down. Michael Curran taking that run. So it'll be third and really short. 
at the at the Barrington 35 yard line. Here we'll get the play call in. Probably we'll see a run here. Wind against them, so not will take the ball. About 10 seconds left on the play clock here. We'll hand back back off to Curran. He's gonna run up the up. Oh, no, Nairo kept it. Fooled. And he's still going. So he'll take it to the Barrington 40. Good hard run. A lot got, of yards after contact. Got uh, pretty much strength. Uh, you, yeah. And again, you see that Barrington offensive line. Year over year, they have huge offensive lines that have just produced some of the better talent in the area. This year's uh, no short on that talent, as you can see there. This, is, this isn't a small Hoffman defensive line either, so that's impressive showing. Both giving Nairo time to pass and plays like that. Curran up the middle, he'll pick up about five. So three minutes, 25 seconds left here in the second. Barrington might be looking to make this the, the last drive of the half. Trying to, preserving a 25 point lead right now. But again, just last week, Hoffman was able to come back from 17 at the half. So they, I'm sure they're aware of that. They, they don't want to take any chances here. Barrington perhaps trying a little keep away here. Yeah. So handoff to Casillo. He's going to bring it out. Knocked out around midfield. Close to the first, I think. A little short, about a yard short. Cosio is uh, the one that was, what, uh, the 400 yard, uh, 400 meter yep. uh, uh, Ton of in speed. track. Tremendous speed. He just carried the football. Helps when you have that kind of talent. <laughs> So Nairo is going to bring it back to Kern. He's going to bring it up. He should have the first. It's close. Maybe a little bit short. Fell forward, first. but he may have had a knee down. Uh, they, marked it. they mark it way back. So it's, a rough mark. it's fourth and one. Fourth and one. I don't know. Barrington hasn't had to showcase any kind of punter to this point. Yeah. So they're going to go for it again. With their and, line and, and with their explosive offense, uh, they're going for it here. It's right at midfield, basically. Huge play for Hoffman if they can stop this and get ball, get the ball back with two minutes left in the half. Try to get this closer to last week's score at halftime, where they know they can battle back and try to get back into this. And that'll run the clock. So maybe it's just a clock play, and maybe they will punt here. Perhaps they were trying for the offsides, something that teams do almost every game. So with uh, 208 remaining in the half, it remains 32 for Barrington, seven for Hoffman Estates. The weather has lightened up a little bit. Uh, we're fairly sunny here right now and after being quite overcast at the outset. And uh, it's a mild day for the first uh, Saturday in October. Hopefully it cools off a little for all the marathon runners tomorrow. No. So Barrington lines back up. There's no punter deep. Looks like they're gonna run a play. Nairo hands off the oh he'll keep Nairo, it. And he's, he's got it. He's, Got an he's opening. got it. He's got an opening. Oh, and he's an he may punch. be off to the races here. He shifted and he's back and he's gone. He's dangerous. What what a dangerous runner he is. Kicked it outside. This is just an, a rather awesome performance actually by the Barrington offense and Ray Nairo in particular, but some others have made big contributions. The offensive line, the running backs. Several receivers. It's uh, quite a unit. It's now 38 to seven. They'll line up and see if they. This is the only weakness of the day for the Barrington offense. They've been only one of. What is it? One of five. One of five. This is, this is the the seventh attempt. 
Here's a Andrea. Andrea, Andrea is going to catch the corner, it looks like. Yep. So, they so there we are, 40 to 7 at halftime. And uh, that puts uh, Hoffman in a significant, uh, actually, they've been in danger of a running clock for quite a while here. And uh, they got some relief when they were able to march down the field and put a touchdown on the board. But now Barrington strikes back quickly after that score. So uh, 40, 40 to 7 here. Still 156 to go in the half. And all Hoffman can do is just come out here and try to make, you know, again, try to make first downs on this drive, try to get another score in the half, build off the last time they had the ball, getting a touchdown. Um, it, uh, it's tough to defend Nairo and Barrington. I mean, they're, they're scoring 35 points a game. They, Hoffman's had a lot of success all year, but wow, what a, what a showing from Barrington's start here. Yeah. Don't think they've seen an offense with uh, the skills and with the power, the power of the offensive line and their execution and and the skills a, a quarterback as spectacular as Nairo and all the rest of it uh, has been too much right now uh, to this point in the game. A nice job by Hoffman. Nice job by Marcel Beauclair to cover up that, that wobbly kick. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Didn't go very far, but good instincts to jump on it. That was a live ball. Barrington could have pounced on it themselves. But good recovery. Heads up play, and that gives them a first down at the uh, Good field position at their own 36. Only a minute 55 to go. It, it's enough time to score, that's for sure. But they Hoffman showing what what kind of offense we expected them from them last time out. Let's see if they're probably going to try to throw with just under two minutes left. Polson's going to roll, looking to set up maybe a screen. It's just a busted play at this point. He's going to throw it. Just out of Th bounds. Throws it out of bounds. So busted play. Thought they might have been trying to line up a screen. Coulson's Barrington's been defensive line has been uh, getting pretty good penetration throughout the game. So the line play for Barrington both ways has been strong. Colson certainly has gotten his cardio in today. That's for sure. Whether it's positive yards or scrambling from Barrington uh, defensive line, he's running. Hoffman has done some fairly good running with their, especially with Johnson, but when you're down as far as they are, it's it's hard to make real progress. So a minute 45, Coulson takes a snap. He's gonna look to Alexander, go back to Blissett, comes back, makes a nice catch. So he's got it at the Hoffman 43 yard line. It's gonna make it third and four. Yeah, with uh, less than a minute and a half, they've got to just uh, open it up and throw it and throw it here. Back to Blissette, nice. Yes, Blissette uh, slicing in, just a little slant pattern. That'll pick up the first down and move the chains again. Blissette typically has been in one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's favored that. It's been the most productive of the, of the wide receivers for Hoffman this year in terms of completions and yardage. Barrington with their linebackers playing pretty deep right now. So they've got a, a, More of a some, some type of a prevent uh, defense in place. And they're taking what's available to them. So they're going to Blissette for a third time in a row here. Gets it underneath about a second and two, just under a minute remaining. They're at the Barrington 37 yard line. So Colson's going to line it back up, four wide. Four men rushing for. Barrington. It's good pressure. Colson steps up. He'll run again, but oh, and nothing available. And Hoffman will take time out. They. So clock stops at, with 36 seconds remaining. Didn't have anybody open. Tried to run it. And now they have to use a timeout. Only 36 seconds remaining in the half, and they've the ball is sitting on the 38-yard line of Barrington. Couple scores from the college game today, as it is Saturday. 
Iowa State tied 31-31 with Oklahoma with six minutes and a half, six minutes 28 seconds left in the fourth. So no one was expecting that. Locally, Penn State up 31 nothing over Northwestern. Illinois losing 16 to 38 down at Iowa. There's a high school score. Glenbard West is up seven nothing in their game going on at the same time. That's a little similar to this. It's a 7A sized uh, Glenbard West going up against uh, 8A sized uh, Hinsdale Central down there in, the, in a game that might resolve the West Suburban Silver Championship. Here we go with 30 or with uh, 40 seconds they show now on the clock. Got a third and three. Oh, went short, just didn't see it coming. So we'll have fourth and three again. 38 seconds remaining. A lot of options, a lot of, lot of weapons here for Hoffman, a lot of different options, not a lot of yardage to cover, but again, 38 seconds. They do have, well, they're completely out of timeouts, and they need to be conscious of that. Bissette Here's will get Bissette. it. Oh, and he's going to make he's, a move. He's going to bring it up to the 10, out and around the 7. About the 7, that stops the clock with 28 seconds and puts Hoffman in a great uh, position here to put another score on the board. So Colson goes back to the well there. He's been going, he's been targeting the set this drive, and he's really made some nice plays. Turned it up there for the biggest uh, biggest gain of the day, I believe, for for Hoffman. Well, set had a real big night last Friday, uh, last week at uh, Schomburg. It was actually a Thursday night game. 28 seconds left, first down. Colson's going to throw it out. He's going to. It's going to be a race to the cone, and, and he will that, get there. That, he will get there. Touchdown. That was the uh, number nine, Eppenbaugh, who played very well last week in their game against Schomburg. He's got really good speed. Mike Eppenbaugh. He has a brother that's a sophomore, but he—that's Mike, who's a senior. He took that and was able to run it into the corner with his blazing speed and. Hoffman scores with 22 seconds remaining in the half. Here's the kick up and it's good. So 40 to 14, Barrington still leads, but Hoffman has to be happy. The last two drives bringing it down the field and we're able to score on both opportunities there. So Hoffman, not a great start, but has been able to turn it around offensively at least, get things going back into that rhythm that, they, that they've kind of been used to when they've been scoring over 30 points a game previously this year. Right. Offense has come to life, and if you you know if you double that offensive production, it gets fairly close to their norm for the season. You know, if they do 28 points here today, their norm for the season, their average for the season is 32.7 or something like that, and so their offense is back to where they've been over the season, basically. But uh, their defense, which has played so well has just uh, had tremendous problems containing this uh, explosive Barrington offense. So Hoffman to kick for the, the second time today. Barrington doesn't, they've kept it short, so maybe they're expecting an onside here. Two people deep, but not that deep. And it'll go over their heads. This is a live ball. He'll field it at the two. Bring it out. He's brought out. He's ten. taken down at around the 10. Figure oh. field position isn't as important with 19 seconds remaining. They'll probably take a knee and take this to the half with a, with a big 26 point lead. But it wouldn't be the first time Barrington went for something to score in 14 seconds. Well, with a quarterback like Nero, you, they, they might just uh, take a knee here, but he can run around and find somebody. And you, you know, you know, they've had some really spectacular plays so far. So let's see. Looks like taking a knee here. Yeah. 
So that'll do it for the first half. Uh, Barrington showing a tremendous offense here. Uh, Hoffman coming back with some offense of their own, but it's uh, 40 to 14. Certainly a surprise that uh, one of these teams can jump out to that kind of a lead and uh, the Barrington offense uh, looking today like one of the very best offenses in the state of Illinois. This team is two, uh, three weeks from now they'll be in the state playoffs and uh, whoever gets them will have to be ready to play really good defense if they want to try to stay in the game. Yeah, impressive showing from Barrington. Jumped in, jumped them right from the start. Really never slowed down with the offense. Scored 26 in the first, 14 in the second. Uh, Hoffman, slow start on defense, but was able to kind of get a couple scores here towards the end, make it something to build on for the second half. Um, we'll just have to see. We'll, we'll see what comes out. You know, as we mentioned earlier, they were down to a deficit against Schaumburg uh, last week. At playoffs, they were down at half and came back. So it's, it's not a team that hasn't seen this before, but they're gonna need to have a little bit of urgency on offense to bring it back. Uh, impressive showing from Barrington as we roll into halftime here. Should be an exciting second half to close out the day. Well, welcome back to the second half here at uh, Barrington High School. Uh, the score, 40 to 14. Uh, the fans out here have just enjoyed a nice, long homecoming uh, Halftime uh, performance, total yards for Barrington in the first half, 334 yards. So that's rather awesome for a half of football. That's a that's a whole game for a lot of teams. And uh, Hoffman uh, has done reasonably well on offense, 171 for the first half. So that's uh, not bad. But the 334 is uh, a tremendous offensive burst from Barrington in that first half to be on track to go over 600 yards if they were to continue this pace. Uh, although what happens here is uh, you have a lot of halftime adjustments and um, as uh, Drew Howard and I have been saying uh, throughout the first half, uh, Hoffman has a, had some record here uh, last week and, uh, and last year in the playoffs of making uh, real big comebacks from uh, deficits and uh, that gets down to halftime adjustments and everything. It's going to take a lot to get back in this game with the score 40 to 14 but uh, they have shown offense and if they can uh, seal up their defense uh, in the second half they could make it uh, a much more interesting game from a competitive standpoint uh, certainly. And uh, it's gotten a little darker here. It had gotten sunny uh, during the uh, uh, second quarter, but we're now, as we are about to open the third quarter, it is heavily overcast and perhaps a little darker than it's been uh, all day long. So there were some forecasts that we might have rain by the fourth quarter or so of this game. And that's sort of, that's what it uh, appears to look like right now at least and the lights have gone on here in deference to this uh, dark situation. So here we go with the second half. Here's the kickoff. Uh, Hoffman will kick it off. The onside start short kick just a little too far out of bounds. There's the flag. Yeah and you mentioned uh, you know, 334 yards of offense for Barrington. They did that on only eight first downs. So you can see that it was a lot of big plays. Uh, Hoffman actually had more first downs. They had nine first downs, but only half the yardage. So about 171 yards for Hoffman in the first half. Yeah, I, uh, well, Comcast is here doing a highlight reel of this game, and I was talking to the gentleman that's uh, uh, announcing that, and I said, well, you, you might have too much material for a highlight reel the way this game has gone. Might have to cut it down. You have to do a lot of uh, cutting it down. And here we go. Barrington has the football and a big lead. The fans with the umbrellas have indicated the rain has started. Run up the middle for about two yards. Fans are moving about. As the rain has settled in for play number one of the second it's half. Coming down fairly hard right now. So that's a factor. It makes it that much harder to score and come back. Although some people say if you get the field wet, it, it can help the uh, give the offensive players an advantage 
in terms of footing. Oh, Nairo to keep Here's Nairo. Keep it. He's going to bounce it he outside. Bounces it outside, and he is pushed out of bounds at about the 46 yard line of Barrington. I think it's going to be just shy of the first down. So it'll be about third and one, depending on how they spot this. Third and one, and they've got uh, about a uh, uh, couple hundred plays in their playbook that can work in this situation with the, the way this team is playing. Uh, really, really going to be like third and inches here. So third probably, and inches, so probably a run, but they'll stay in the shotgun set as they always do. Yeah, and uh, they've got, I think, a new running back in there, number 31. I think it is for Barrington. That be. Uh, number, 30, 30, number 30, 30, 30, for 30. Quinn Cattell starting back in. He's 5'8", 150 pounds. And I'll give it to him. He gets the football. Stop He's in the back of the field. Stop try to oh, tried to bounce it out, but uh, brought down by 62 and a couple of other Hoffman players. Hoffman has a, a defense. They have one line man going both ways. And uh, Nairo will take it. They did get him the first down the, on the previous play. So second and 12 here. He's going to keep the ball, get bottled up, but he's still running. Late flags oh, come in. Lots of flags there. Could be I don't know. Could be holding. Somebody grabbed a face mask maybe during that yep. scrum there. Uh, so face mask on Hoffman and that'll give Barrington a first down. Bailed out what would have been a third and about five. As you mentioned earlier, when the grass gets wet, it does give the offense an advantage because they know where the play's going. Defense has to try to react with the slippery turf. Um, so we'll see a bit, you know, especially especially when running, they'll be able to have a little bit of an advantage here. So here, Barrington starts back, first down behind this massive offensive line. Nairo taking a new play in. And Quinn Cattell stays in the back. He'll take the, he'll take the run. He'll bust it to the outside, takes it down, keeps going. Down to the Hoffman 17 yard line. Some good run from the backup. Hope there wasn't an injury that we missed. Hopefully he's just getting some reps as they're up 26 points here in the second half. Nairo takes a snap. He'll go back to him. Nope. Nairo will keep it. No, oh, he'll keep Slips. it. And he'll keep going. Looking for some seams. He's still going. He's wow. Gone. And he was almost tackled for a loss in the backfield, but he slithered out of it and and then looked upfield and uh, sidestepped a couple of people and made it all the way into the end zone. So now it's 46 to 14, and Barrington will will try for two points again. Uh, he's just showing time and time again when he has the ball, he's, he's so hard to take down. Even if when he looks like he's cornered, he's been able to scramble, to has great patience with the ball, make reads on the defense and get those extra yardage. So unbelievable run for Nairo there. His passing has been quite uh, strong today as well. Very uh, here's kick. a kick. They did kick this and, time. And so there we go. It's now four, 47 to 14. 47-14. 47-14, and uh, with uh, just opening up the third quarter here, a little bit of rain coming down, and uh, Barrington back up to a 33-point lead. Kicker gets some reps, nice to see. Open up a 33-point lead, so not the start that Hoffman wanted to see, but they will put the offense back on the field and hopefully build off the last two drives where they've been able to score. Rain yeah, obviously makes that more challenging and it's really starting to come down here. So it's noticeable rain here in Barrington. We knew this would come maybe a little earlier than we expected. 
No, all, all the talk was somewhere mid, mid midway in the fourth quarter or so, but uh, here we are at the outset of the third, and it's raining heavy. So Barrington will kick it off here. He'll take it. Out to the 28 yard line. It's a pretty typical return from what we've seen each game. Barrington, Barrington certainly special teams has had a workout on, the, on these kickoffs today. It's the, I believe it's the 10th time this kickoff unit's been on the field. So out, out comes Hoffman's offense. Again, good momentum finishing the half with two scores after, after starting off slow. See if they can build off that. Quick pass to Alexander. He makes a cut. He's going to bounce it to the other side. Oh, but he gets tripped up. Tripped up by number 35 there uh, on Barrington. That's uh, Alec Gibbis, a uh, defensive lineman, 6'4", 195 pounds, making a quick move and nipping that play in the bud there where before Alexander could get up ahead of steam and really move. Looks like Looks. he's he's injured on that play. Hopefully nothing serious. He got tripped up from behind there. He had the right idea. A lot of grass in front of him. Just got just got caught. So he's slow to get off the field. Hopefully standing out there. He's favoring his he's walking off. right foot, but walking off. So good to see him walking off. Doesn't seem serious. Hopefully it's not. So Hoffman, second and ten. Colson taking the snap. We got a lane in motion there. And they'll go back to Johnson. Yes, Johnson. And cut it outside, pick up about five yards on the play. Should bring up about third and five. Third and six. 848 left in the third. So first time out in the first half, they were able to convert on their opening drive for the first first down, but then they stalled out. Hopefully they can uh, see if they can get that ratcheted back up. Again, that, that drive was focused mainly on the run. They will go to the pass here. Colson takes it to Blissett, who gets it up at midfield, makes a nice, uh, makes a nice move and brought down. So he's been the, the primary target all day for uh, quarterback Colson. Had a nice day. So again, first down, offense continues to do well for Hoffman here after the slower start. Pretty quick pace yeah. to the line. Their offensive line for Hoffman has been uh, playing a pretty pretty good game. Pitch to Jalen Johnson, who's going to not find much, get back to close the line of scrimmage before he's brought down by that Barrington defense. So second and 11 here, did lose a yard on the play. Rain continues to fall here. So Colson's going to be taking the snap. 11 to go here. He's got four receivers and here comes it looks like Hoffman's going to call a timeout. Didn't like what they saw in the defense. Timeout. 25 went in motion. That's Jordan Lane on that last play before they called timeout. So with uh, 7.31 uh, remaining in the third quarter, the score is 47 to 14. and. We've got uh, rainfall out here, and uh, oh, and a dark situation, that, and that's why the lights are on. So after regrouping, taking the time out, Hoffman finding a new play, ready to try to pick up where this drive left off. No. 
Alexander back on the field for Hoffman near side, which is nice to see. So the injury was never an issue. Um, so he's back on the field near side, was set far side. Coulson's going to take the snap, man in motion. It's going to go back to his target, Blissett. He's been going there all game, just a little far. Blissett having a big year and leading the area in yardage receptions and had a really big game last week to uh, help Hoffman pull out that Schomburg game. Yeah, offensively, these two these two signature receivers, there's a lot of good receivers on the sophomore team, but Bissett and Alexander especially, both leading the way. Coming into today, about 70 different catches, almost all the yardage going to them. Colson's going to run again. He's been doing this all day. Brings it out to about the 40. Will get it. Oh, another good late push. Brings him to the 36-yard line. First down for Colson. He has not been shy of tucking the ball and running today. I think Barrington is electing to drop their linebackers off quite a bit, and uh, that can open it up for the quarterback to do some some quarterback draw play, some quarterback improvised running like that. Colson trying to throw the towel. Alexander in motion. He's going to take the play. Cut it back inside. Flag in the vicinity of where you would typically find holding. No call yet. But barring the penalty, he was able to pick up a few yards. Running hard on that play and showing that he doesn't have any noticeable ill effects of that uh, injury that occurred just a while ago, just to shaken up a little bit on one play. And it looks, it looks like it will be against Hoffman here. So they'll be coming back 10 yards. Wind has picked up, rain has picked up, and it's not a nice day out there right now. From, from earlier on, where we had some peaks of sunshine and a, a light breeze. Hoffman, Hoffman needs to score here to ensure that they don't get themselves into a running clock situation. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Just dropped the pass. Just, uh, Good look over the middle. Almost, yeah. almost intercepted, but luckily, as it you know had gone the other way a couple times earlier in the first half. Yep. This one fell to the ground for Hoffman, and they'll get another chance here. Throwing hard, and the receiver just couldn't hang on to it. It uh, was on target. And from this down and distance, we have second and almost 20. You figure they will be throwing the ball. They have a couple of great targets we've talked about earlier. Uh, ball was there, just wasn't able to come down to it with it. Slick conditions out here, could have easily played into it. He's got an empty backfield now. Five receivers. Some pressure from Barrington, and they will bottle him up. There's a flag down. Flag as well, again in the vicinity of holding. So nice pressure there by Barrington's defensive line. It's going to be really challenging here. There's a loss on the down. play of two, three yards, and so we'll see what, what happens here. It is a holding. I'm assuming they'll accept this. But I think they're trying to figure it out now, and they will take they will take the penalty. So still second down, but second and 29. I have to assume Barrington's going to play back and prevent to keep it in front of them. Could be a good opportunity if Colson can't find any of these receivers open to scramble again. He's been doing it a lot today. They just need yards. They have to make it manageable. It's going to be a fourth down territory. Uh, when you're, down, when you're down 33 at this point in the game, I think there's no question there. So Colson takes Got a snap. Up. He's going to look. He'll find him over the middle. Good pickup. He's still going. So he'll take it to the Barrington 41. None again. And, uh, and that's been open. That was, that was the play. Unfortunately, got dropped earlier. But now we're in a situation where we have third and manageable, it's still, still a long way to go, but they picked up about half of it there. So, Colson will take the snap again, five, four wide. 
Barrington come, come offsides? They did. Offsides, Barrington, so they just made it a little more manageable. What, what used to be a dire situation to get first down just became a, a third and less than 10. So Coach Heisey will dial in the play. Colson to take the snap out back. Alexander's got single coverage on the near side here. They can find him. He's going to. He's got a nice matchup. Rough snap, low snap. Colson's going to try to improvise. He will throw. Open he's receiver. Less and he'll or, touchdown. Well, that's known. None. Uh, will Newton. Touchdown. Will Newton, who's had plenty of touches for, on kickoffs, has taken this pass to the end zone. Noon is into the end zone, and uh, that makes something. it 47 to 20. They'll line up here for the extra point. And that's three straight drives for Hoffman, putting, the, uh, putting points on the board. So something to build on. If they can get the defense to start plugging some of the holes and take that inevitable task of trying to slow down uh, Ray Nairo, they can, they can make this a game. The, the offense is showing that they can score. Three for three on extra points here. Yeah, the offense now is, uh, they're only 11 points off their average for the season, and we've got, uh, you know, the better part of the second half. We're only 5.06, and we've got 5.06 remaining in the third quarter, and then the whole fourth quarter. So they, at this pace, they're going to, apparently, uh, it, it appears that they'll come up to their season average on offense here, very possibly. But uh, the Barrington offense has already exceeded their season average by about 10 points offensively. So, yeah, great job there. A couple holding penalties that really bounced them back. Could have been a really bad situation. Uh, we're able to make a couple big plays, find an open receiver down the middle, and put it in once again. So they found something on offense. It's just a matter of it can stop Barrington's de or Barrington. Uh, from scoring here. It says something about the execution of offense by both of these teams. They've probably had each other circled for a while because they've been doing well. And uh, Onside again, Barrington recovers. It's a good execution by the hands team from Barrington. They'll get the ball close to midfield at their own 44 yard line. When you're down 26 and there's only 17 minutes of game time left, you gotta be going for these onside and trying to make something happen here. Both of these both of these offenses executing well today. Uh, the defensive units and coaches have had time to get their game plan ready, but uh, really good execution on offense will will produce points. Draw up the middle. Nice run there from the Barrington running back. Barrington has been running well all day. They haven't had to rely on it that much. It just gives them a little balance, but uh, you know, if they had to, they could grind it out probably. They had gains like that last one all day long. And Quinn Cattell, the, the running back who's come here in here in the second half, he's getting a nice, getting a lot of good reps. That's shown a lot of nice runs up the middle. So Naira will take the pass. He'll go back to him. Another good run up the middle. Oh, Alexander, what a hit. Met him up the middle and really brought a lot of contact there. Alexander playing both ways for Hoffman. Uh, also, 71 goes both ways. He's their only lineman on Hoffman that goes both ways. That's uh, Javi Hurtado. He's, looks like he's probably about 270 pounds or so. So 31 for Barrington. Nairo will keep it. Nothing up the middle. Try to make something happen, but he'll get bottled up. Tried to wiggle out of that, but uh, too much traffic there that time. And there's the defense for Hoffman. First stop of the day. A defense that uh, coming into the game was leading the conference. So some good halftime adjustments there. Was able to get a stop finally on defense here. And it looks like Barrington's likely to punt. But they're taking the time getting the play in, and we'll see what happens here. The Barrington punter has had a, a light, very light day of activity today. There's sheets of Thus rain. Thus far. 
sheets of rain blowing against them as well. So that could factor in the decision whether to punt. Figure if you're not comfortable in this, you might as well go for it on fourth and see if you can pick up more yards that way. Yeah, this it's rain is pleasant. coming heavy and it's coming at them. Hard to punt into and uh, with the wind and rain and uh, they may well decide to go for it here. And the odds are they might not pick up much at all in a punt and retaining possession here uh, against this Hoffman offense, which has asserted itself and put 21 points on the board. Uh, they'd like to keep the football. It's really changed uh, dramatically from about midway in the second quarter uh, till, till now. It's just a, a totally different look, dark and heavy rain coming down now. Three minutes, seven seconds left here in this third. Nairo is still on the field. Looks like they'll try to pick up a couple of yards here. That's what they're gonna do. Man in motion, they will go It's a for tight it. formation. Here and goes Andrea, and he uh, slips out of a tackle. He's got the first down. They hit him right about at the line of scrimmage or maybe a little shy of it, and uh, he burst through and picked up the first down, so Barrington retains the football. Uh, first and 10 at the, uh, about the, looks like about the 43 of Hoffman. And again, this turf is getting wet. Conditions are getting worse. So something, a play like that with a lot of speed coming at you from the side, it's tough to defend. Short run up the middle. Looks like he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. So nice job plugging it from the Hoffman defensive line there. Second and 10. Hoffman, the Hoffman defense has definitely showed more resistance here in the third, aside from the first drive. Looked like they were going to get him into a punt situation. Barrington was able to convert on fourth, but again, uh, looks like big place. Hoffman appears to have what amounts to a five man line right now. There he goes, up the middle, dragging a defender. That down time, to Hoffman 26. bursting through was uh, number 30. That's the Quinn Kettle. So that's a, a first down all the way down at the uh, 26 yard line of Hoffman Estates. So two minutes remaining here in the third, 47 to 21 Barrington. Nairo again giving it to the receiver, or back to Catello, I'm sorry. Stuffed in the backfield. So now we have a third and long situation. Probably get more of a traditional look from Barrington where they look at the throw, see if Nairo can make something happen with his feet. I think they've, uh, for this I'm last sorry. few plays, it appears that they uh, that Hoffman has uh, bunched up around the line of scrimmage there on defense a little bit more. They have been playing a four-man line, but uh, well, this is, this is going to be uh, second and long, so they might not be as bunched by the line of scrimmage, but they've got... At four, four up on the line again. But uh, some of these recent plays, it's been more like five or six that have been in the vicinity of the line of scrimmage over the center. So Barrington will call a timeout. So with the score remaining, uh, 47 to 21, we've only got a minute eight left in the third quarter now. Barrington on the move. Yeah, Barrington on the move, trying to widen the gap in the score. It's been back and forth. Both teams have scored seven here in the second half. Barrington on the move again. They're gonna have second and 13. Probably gonna see a passing situation here. Nairo has been uh, extremely effective with his passing today. Runs around a little bit and finds somebody and points go on the board. So they have four wide. Andrea in motion will fake the handoff. Nairo again. Nairo, uh, again, he's, oh, he's got a first down, it looks like. Yeah. 
How he wasn't brought down to a knee there, I don't know. But he kept it kept it going, got the first down. Uh, tremendous balance and drive and incredible a runner from Barrington. First down at the 15 yard line. So Quinn Cattell comes back in here with the first down. They've been going to him a lot in the second half. He looked good. Nairo handing the, nope, he will keep it. Bounce it to the outside, down to the 10. Oh, almost Tackleback. almost uh, sidestep them, but uh, 24 closed very rapidly there. Yeah, Trevon Holland him. and Hill Jones both brought him down there for off. Still picked up about uh, four or five yards on that play. So that will likely be the last play for the quarter here. Clock winds down at Tom Frederick Field. 15 seconds remaining. They'll get the wind at their back going the other end, up 47-21 going into the fourth quarter. And a tremendous amount of offense today. We've got a combined uh, 68 points on the board, much more than I had antic anticipated, quite frankly. I thought the defenses would come into this game revved up and with the challenge of stopping a good offense and maybe having an opportunity to scout each other and look at a lot of films over the last few weeks. And, but uh, the offenses have dominated here. A total of 60, 68 points have been scored. And we're done with only three quarters right now. 68 points with, with two more scores. If Barrington can pull off two more scores here in the fourth, that'll, that'll match the season total of defensive points given up by Hoffman all season. Just to, just to showcase what Barrington's been able to do in one game is incredible. Barrington fans that have stuck around, bearing the conditions here, doing the jump around going into fourth quarter, similar to Camp Randall up in Madison. The crowd has thinned out noticeably, but again, here to watch their Broncos try to put another score on the board. So Nairo fake it, bounce it to the outside, make a move, take it down to about the four yard line and see four or five yard line. So that will, they will give him the first down. So first, first. first and goal for Barrington here from the five yard line. Well, the way their offensive line has been playing, I expect to see them just run the ball in here. We'll hand it off to Patel. Patel. Good hard run, brought to the, about the three. Tripped up by this Hoffman defensive line, still playing hard. So second and goal here for Barrington. Offense being patient to get this ball rolling is. It's Brad Warman, 70 out there for. Oh, there, oh, there's somebody. Uh, and there's Jalen. That, that's Jalen Alexander showing why Purdue is looking at him as linebacker as well as wide receiver. Coming off Just the edge. Flew right in there the and made the tackle for a loss. That's a couple of big hits by Alexander early in the second half. So that brings up a much more challenging situation for Barrington. Third and ten, or third and goal from the ten. That's what a what a Big Ten recruit looks like. <laughs> Nairo again, probably looking to pass in a situation like this, but knowing knowing his abilities, won't be shy to tuck in and try to run. Takes a snap, he's gonna look. He's gonna run this. Oh, he keeps it alive. Still keeps it alive. Good, well defended play by Hoffman. He's still alive, he's still running. Oh he's boy. And there's a flag down. And, he'll throw. and he completes it. Wow. Down at the five yard line. Well, let's see what happened here. 
flag. It's usually on the offense in a situation like this, but maybe, maybe not. If football doesn't work out, he's put on a heck of a rugby display. Staying away from being tackled numerous times, keeping the play alive. Pro Looks likely like. a hold, unfortunately, for Barrington. That could put us put put uh, the Barrington uh, offense way back. And um, let's see. The box score would show a simple five-yard completion, but it was much more than that on that play. Unfortunately, it's going to be wiped out by a holding call for Barrington. So now, now they're looking as if that's a spot foul. It's going to be third and goal still from the, but now we're from the 38-yard line. What a, a good tackle by Alexander and a, a penalty uh, wind up doing here, you know. Going backwards. Nairo drops Here's, back to pass. Uh, he's going to throw it to oh, he's got wide. A, oh, 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 oh boy. It. May have been a heavy football from the rain, but uh, anyway, he had nobody near him and couldn't hold on. So Michael Curran came, came back onto the field and just dropped the pass again. It's wet. If anyone was watching the Temple College football game, you would have seen a punt on a goal line situation, first and goals from a first and goal situation to a punt. We're going to see it likely here for the second time in a week. Never thought of that would happen. So Barrington back to punt. Sure enough, Nairo's the punter. From first and five to having to punt, that really is going backwards. For, especially for a Barrington offense that has been so terrific. <laughs> Alexander back to return, but he's going to let this thing bounce and just goes, goes in, into the end zone. Goes into the end zone. So with um, 9.32 remaining in the game, it's still 47-21, and Hoffman will take over on their own 20-yard line. Well, a 26-point differential, and um, first first punt from Barrington for the game. So Hoffman, again, this offense hasn't stopped since midway through the second quarter for them. Fortunately, they dug a hole to start. We'll see if they can keep it going here and get it th get this thing a little bit closer. Time's not their friend. There's only nine and a half minutes left, but they're going to keep scratching and clawing to get back into this thing. So Colson takes a snap. It's going to look short pass. Good. Good run after the catch. It's going to be bottled up, but he'll get about seven yards on that play, I think. Yeah, he was down. Second half proving to be much more even than the first. Nine yard game. Second. So second and one here, just under nine minutes remaining. Colson taking the snap. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to pass it out to the star receiver, Jalen Alexander. He's going to take it down to the 40. So Alexander getting much, much more involved here in the game plan. They had his first touchdown strike in the first half. Moving the sticks. Again, Hoffman, Hoffman offense has, has looked really well since the start. They, they've scored every time they've had the ball the last three drives. Looking to make this four. The offense is railing in, and the defense did come up with a stand there after it got down to first and goal from the five. Colson again gonna, looking to run. Looked like it was probably a designed play. Got about five yards, so he's close to his 10th attempt running today. Much more than his season average, not something you typically would see from him. But he's, he's been effective on the ground. This time throws the towel, got a better read on the wind, was able to get some distance there. So Hoffman lines up, second and five at their own 46. Alexander in motion, low snap, but makes something happen there. Look at about two yards. 
did see a flag. I don't know what that was about. That may have been a false start legal motion on the on the offense. Barrington again appeared to be playing its linebackers fairly deep on that last play and and rightfully so under eight minutes up big just try to keep things in front of them. So it was a false start here on offense. Makes it a little more difficult to get that first down, so it'll be closer to second and ten. It's a legal formation. So now the ball will be back at the Hoffman 41. A little more distance to go. Barrington with at least the majority of their starters still out there on defense. Homecoming, big day for them. You want to keep them out on the field. Hoffman's got four wide trips to the far side. Gonna throw a short pass. Oh, read really well from Barrington. Covered up in the backfield. That's number 36, Devon Schenhoster for Barrington. Nice tackle, good read. So now we're looking at third and 11 from their own 40. About seven minutes remaining in the game. Play clock hasn't started yet. They're still looking to get things set. Here's Barrington with, uh, looks like, five, six guys sort of back on pass defense right now with the third and long. Looks like an official timeout. Talking to 31. Hopefully we'll get this thing back going here. Raining hard out there right now. It's been raining all, yeah. Steadily, all second half really. From early in the second half, very early. Homecoming crowd has cleared out a little bit given the score and given the, the weather situation. Barrington has shifted to this turf about 10, 15 years ago, so won't be any uh, residual effect from today's game. A couple of strong teams out there would be tearing this thing up otherwise. Colson drops back. Kind of, kind of high for Blissett. Could have probably pulled it down, but now they're looking at fourth and 10 from their own territory. Likely to go for this. 644. Down, down by down. 26 points and down. Uh, you know, with only 6.44 left. Uh, most likely uh, give it a shot here. Only way they can really have any realistic hope of of doing something here. So Colson's back oh. to take the snap. Four wide, three on the near side here. He's gonna look, he's going to Alexander again. Oh. Tough, tough pass, trying to thread the needle through a couple of defenders. Was off his hands, but he wasn't able to come down with it in these conditions. So Barrington will take over on down, 639 remaining, of 47-21. Looking to probably kill some clock and put the finishing touches on this game. We may see them uh, try to just run the football a little more, although the pass has been there all day Looks for like Niro. It's hard to not go to it when it's been working as effectively as it has. Barrington will be introducing Michael Bedard in at quarterback coming in here to close out the game. Looks like a host of new players on the field for Barrington. Handoff up the mill, bounce it outside. Oh, there there's is a, flag a flag down, there is a flag down. There is a flag in the vicinity of where you would typically find holding, and it is, so that'll bounce it back. So doing, we're gonna do this one over again. First and 20 now for Barrington. Bedard's a 6'2", 180 pound junior. So after Nairo leaves, next season will be his team to control. Obviously there's other people in the system, but seeing him out on the field, this will be great experience for the games. I know. 
So he's in the shotgun set. There's still four wide. He'll hand off, or no, he'll keep it himself. Mm. Showing some good running Make, ability, keeping the play nice going. Gain. Nice gain to start. Picks up, picks up seven. So still a long way to go. Well, maybe he'll be the next one. Uh, Barrington has had a couple of real outstanding quarterbacks. Johnny Davidson for a couple of years, and Nairo for the for this year and the year before and last year. So four years in a row, and Absolute. perhaps uh, that will continue. Absolute blessing for Joey Sanchez. Offense have been, has been unbelievable since with these two past quarterbacks. It's Nairo keeping that tradition alive. His day is over. But we we saw, saw Nairo make make something out of nothing several times in the first half there where he was rushed a little bit and wound up with a big play. Drops Oops. the ball, slick field. He's going to try to make something happen. Bounced nice. out. Gets pushed out. Yeah. Brought down at their own 42 yard line. So now they got work cut out for him on third down. To be third and a long way to go. Looks like third, third and 26 from their own 42. Well, both of these teams will be going into the Illinois State playoffs, and uh, certainly the offenses look like they're ready. And they'll keep it again. Brought down at the 41 for a loss. So we'll likely see the punt unit come out again for Barrington. Another good stop here from Hoffman. So the defense has come back for the Hoffman. It's, it's encouraging. I, I know they're not going to be happy with the score right now, but. Since the start of the game, there has been a lot of positive things to come out of this for Hoffman. They can bring this in. As you mentioned, state playoffs are two weeks away. They're going to be uh, looking to build off some of the positives from this game, close out the season strong, get good seating, and hopefully make a nice run into November. You know, for Barrington, they're, they have a couple games to go to clinch the MSL West, hopefully looking to lock up one of their better seatings. I believe they were a 10 seed last year with, with an 8-1 record. So hopefully looking to improve on that if they can finish the season strong. <coughs> Nairo back out there to get the kick away. Brought down to the 27, 28 yard line for Hoffman. So Hoffman will get the ball back, 413 remaining in the fourth, down 47 to 21. If they can finish strong, there's only, uh, right now, uh, among the 8As, there's only a couple of uh, teams that are still unbeaten, Marist and Lincoln Way East, and one of those might go down by the end of the season, and if Barrington can continue winning, uh, they'd be no worse than the second seed in 8A. Yeah, people have been saying this has been one of the better 8A uh, classes they've seen in some time. Playoffs are going to be unbelievable this year. So good run here. Number nine on Hoffman. Mike Eppenbaugh bringing it out. <laughs> Eppenbaugh, the senior, good run. So he'll bring it out for first down. They got it on their own 42 yard line. Rain still really coming down. We, we now have a star balloon on the field. Good stick by Barrington. Stuffed him for no gain. But yeah, you can get a feel. The balloons flying on the field, sheets of rain, a lot of wind. It's not the best conditions to, to mount a rally here. And it's been, it's been you know, struggling for both teams that have been trying to move this way on the field. We've had quite a drop off in scoring in the second half here. Only 14 total points scored in the second half. Nothing yet in the fourth. Hoffman looking to change that. There's a snap that goes beyond. Colson's going to put it together, try to scramble. Unfortunately, oh. he's brought down. He didn't get a pass off, and he's tackled for an enormous loss. Yeah, that, that's tough to react when the ball comes low and you're scrambling and you have three Barrington defenders that's veering down on you. Third so. down and... Uh, Twenty. About 33 yards, I think. 
third and 33 and uh, we're under three minutes now. Third and 33, yeah, Colson's gonna take the snap. He's gonna hand it off. Nice, nice hold up the middle, get a few of those yards back. So now we're at fourth down. Hoffman likely to punt despite the, the difference. It's a, that's a long way to go to pick up a first down. Yeah, we're down to about a little under two and a half minutes now, and uh, still that 26-point lead for for Barrington. Hoffman looking looks, to looks like they're probably going to run some well, clock. Run a little clock. They've got fourth and 31. They they would need a long pass and. I think they'll probably try something. Perhaps they'll try something here because if Barrington gets the ball, they might not do too much with it. They'd probably just sit on it with the score the way it is. So both teams huddle up, two minutes remaining. Now after, after a wild big start for Barrington. It's been pretty close ever since. Unfortunately, Hoffman hasn't really been able to chip into that lead. All of it. Going into next week, now offense got going a little bit there. Uh, aside from this last drive, you know, obviously conditions are, this isn't gonna happen each week. Weather's uh, not gonna be nice the rest of the way, but this has been exceptionally bad, especially in the second half. Looks like Hoffman will punt. So Barrington doesn't really have anybody back. They're playing more of a safe defense, just in case. Again, 30 yards to go. Low snap, picks it up, gets the punt away. Nice low snap, nice low kick. That'll bounce to around the 41 of Barrington. So Barrington will take it, minute 51 remaining in the game. See if we can maybe get some extra players in the game who haven't been out there yet. Maybe get a first down and then probably just go to the victory formation after that. Right. So, well, it's been uh, a, quite a surprisingly high scoring game, although scoring, uh, the, this rain really cut down the scoring in the second half. Plus uh, perhaps some defensive adjustments on both sides. Yeah. That's a, it's a tie game at 7-7 in the second half. Unfortunately, Barrington went into the first half with a 26-point lead, all, all amounted in the first quarter of the game, and Hoffman's really never been able to chip back into it. So we come back out here, presumably the last drive of the game. Michael Bedard back out, quarterback for Barrington. He'll hand it back off. Michael Curry getting some more snaps back out there. Take it for about one yard with the clock ticking. It'll be below a minute 30 when this next snap comes off. Is Barrington getting back to play? Looks like they're going to get into a victory formation. Should see knees here the rest of the way. We're down to just over a minute. So again, coming into this game, two 6-0 teams, big showdown. Everyone was looking to see what this Barrington offense could do against the stingy Hoffman defense. Really showed up, had an incredible first half. Big win for Barrington. Puts him in the driver's seat to win the MSL West. Puts him in the driver's seat for really good seating in the playoffs. Both teams are going to be there in November. Right Both now, have... right now it appears that Barrington can do no worse than uh, than third seed in 8A, and might do a little better if one of the other teams that are unbeaten, that are likely candidates for 8A, uh, they could be a, a second or a first seed potentially. So this will be the last snap. Barrington victory formation again, and that'll be the ball game. So that's it from uh, Barrington High School here on a rainy homecoming day. It's uh, the final will be 47 to 21. 
lot of offense here, mo almost all of it in the first half, and uh, teams are shaking hands, and uh, both of these teams will go into the playoffs, and uh, I think uh, Hoffman just saw how good an offense can be, and they'll get their defense back in shape uh, for the playoffs and hopefully have a good run, and Barrington looks like a, a team that if they get it all together and uh, play up to this level, they can certainly go very deep in the 8A playoffs. So that's it from Barrington High School today.